Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial I have a sample data set of car prices and I have a particular column over here which says car model which contains the brand name, the model of that particular car and the year it was manufactured. The problem statement that I have is that I need to split the brand, model and the year of manufacture into three different columns. Now the first thing that comes to your mind is that I will use the delimiter or I will use DAX. Hold on to your thoughts because I'm going to show you a new way wherein we can use the Microsoft inbuilt AI feature to fetch this particular information. So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing that I will do here is I'm going to get into the Power Query Editor. Within the Power Query Editor, I'm going to select the column that I want the information from and then I'm going to right click and click on Add Column from Example. So once you do that, you will get a new column over here and then it says enter sample values to create a new column. So first let's create a column name called as brand and I need all the brand names in this particular column. It is in this case, it is Porsche and then Lexus and then again we have Toyota over here. So I need the brand name. So I'm going to enter the brand name over here in the first cell. I'm going to enter Porsche over here and press enter. So the moment I do that, all of my brand names have been populated automatically without you having to write any DAX or use the delimiter. So as you can see over here, I've got all the brand names of the cars over here. I've got Nissan over here. I've got Hyundai. So all of my brand names have now been populated. Now that it is populated, all I can do is click on OK. And now a new column has been added into my data set called as brand. And then you can look at the drop down over here and take a look at all the different models that we have in our data set. And now let's create another column over here wherein I need the model names of that particular car and then I'm going to rename this and call this as model and over here in the first row we have the Kayan uh, A slash T slash Coupe and so what I will do is I'm going to type in exact words that we have in our first row over here so it's Kayan uh, space A slash T space slash followed by coupe and then I'm going to press enter over here and you will see that all of this has now been populated automatically for us. Now that this is populated, I'm going to click on OK and a new column gets generated over here with all the model names that you see in this particular column. And now let's add the manufacturing year. So right click add columns from example. I'm going to type in 2020 over here and press enter. And now you will notice that in these rows over here, the year of manufacturing has not been captured correctly or it is blank. And in these rows over here, the manufacturing year has been captured incorrectly. And if we scroll down over here, you will see the same issue as well. So when you come across something like this, wherein it has it is not capturing the right information. So Power BI's AI needs some more information for it to capture the data correctly. In this case, what we will do is we will come over here and manually type in 2020 and press enter over here. And now let's scroll down and look at all the data that we have and it looks like it is now capturing correctly. So it just basically needs a couple of more iterations to understand what exactly you are trying to fetch from that particular column. And now I'm going to click on OK and now we have a, another column here. I'm going to call this as manufacturing year. And let's look at this particular column over here. You will see that we've now fetched the years from this particular column. So this is how you can fetch the information that you require from a particular column. So whenever you have a problem statement, DAX is not the solution every single time, but there are different ways you can fetch the information. It's just that you need to be aware of these features which are inbuilt in Power BI. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.